Hello. Hey all and welcome back. Uh oh the display's a little flickerier than usual, is it? Hang on. Well, welcome back to Fatal Frame. Maybe I can uh maybe I can address this. Uh Let's double check the uh capture settings. Yeah, it's sixty. Why is it why is it doing that now? That's weird. Hmm. It's very strange indeed. Do I need to restart the stream or something? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try restarting the stream. I don't know why it's being like this. Okay, that looks a little better. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, I did the classic unplug it and plug it back in again because there's no power switch on this capture card. Man, I was just touting. <laughs> I was just touting the other the other day. Was it last stream or the stream before? I was like, man, this is a good capture card and I like it and here it is bug bugging out. Weird being weird. Hey, everyone. So welcome. You're just in time for the stream to actually look uh, correct. How are you doing? How's it going? I'm pretty good. That's good to hear. Trying to make... Trying to make it work. I don't remember what I did last time. <laughs> I don't remember where we are. Well, that's what the files are for, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's been taking pictures with Makoto's, Makoto's camera. Right, Makoto is the daughter. Uh, I bet if I look at the map, I'll jog my memory. Okay, well, we went down here and there's the blind demon ritual to open the door, and we need a mask. Uh, that hopefully we aren't going to use on ourselves, but who's to say? Uh, oh, and I didn't go in here yet. I think I unlocked... I unlocked the storage room that just had some items in it, and we can go in here. Um, seems like the upstairs is still locked off. Yeah. I'm glad to be back here. Uh, in this spooky mansion house. They call it a mansion. I wonder what the word in Japanese would be. If mansion is like actually a good one. I keep wondering that about almost every almost every turn of phrase and, and wording in this entire thing. Cause they didn't I don't think the patch retranslated anything. They just used the official English. It's probably mansion, yeah. I mean that's the weird thing about language. This is something I was thinking about not long ago. Is that the word in Japanese may as well be mansion, but like the way that we like the there are little nuances to almost any word in any language that don't really carry over the same way. Like, you know, a mansion as as in like a large because oh, there were lights on in this room before one there or have I just not been? Oh, I remember this room. There's this thing that there wasn't anything we could do with. But like, a mansion as a like large building where wealthy people live. Oh. Something near, I can feel the, the, the rumble. Miku's heart is beating. Oh. 
but like, you know, the actual word in English has like, it originally comes from French, and so there's like ties to the like wealthy French uh, in, I guess in England would have had like the big houses, the mansion, mansions, maison. Yeah, exactly. Remember the maison. I don't know. And more than that, there's like... I guess it's like a culture thing, but language is, is inextricably tied to culture. So like maybe a mansion in English and whatever the Japanese word is that's close to... that they use for this. Oh, can we go through now? No, oh, it's still... it's... oh, it's broken open. Oh, we, yeah, we can't. Nice. Um, I don't know. I can't help thinking that, like, the... The window's nailed shut from the outside. I can't look out. Oh, well, they boarded it up for zombies. Have you seen Maison used in a game title? Yeah. I feel like... It's like... The heart beating means that there's a, uh... Like a hidden ghost to photo, usually. I haven't seen anything. Maybe later. Oh, I don't know, her, her eye is caught by something. What are you looking at, Miku? There's a few words for mansion in Japanese. Ah, oh, see, that's kind of what I'm getting at, is that like... There's different uses and... Oh, maybe she's looking at the door frame. There's like different uses and like purpose for these different words and uh, like little nuances in the way. I mean, not least of which is the word itself and like why why you would choose the word mansion because it like sounds better than another like more useful word. And in Japanese, whatever words they have, you would use for different reasons. Oh, the mirror kind of like spooked me back in. I forgot it was in here. Or in the rope room. And we have the ghostly whales that remind me of something else that I can't... Oh, you know what? It reminds me of like a Resident Evil... Part in Resident Evil 4 has this kind of spooky wailing. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think the the seal on that door is busted, so we can't get in. This door is locked. Oh, were we able to go in here? Oh, you know what? I think we'll... that's interesting. I guess I, I guess I'll go back in here because it looks like we can go here and walk up some steps to the storehouse where we couldn't go before. Or no. This is like boarded up and that's still locked. I should check my uh, file. But yeah, it, it makes me want, it, I don't know. I'm, I'm fascinated with language, it so it makes me wonder. Oh right, we're looking for this mask. I think. Oh, in the crevice. Okay, no, I remember, I remember. There's a part early on where we... Maybe it's here? There's a part early on where, like, we got an item by looking through a crevice in the wall. Like this gap. And that's a key to moving forward somewhere. But I don't remember where it was in the house. Oh, thanks, Stream Elements. <laughs> Kicking in so late in the game. Maybe it's because I had to restart the stream. Uh... Alright, well I guess let's wander around until I find what I'm looking for. I think we had to go this way because that door was barred. Yeah. Oh, it's okay game, take your time to load. <laughs> oh yeah, thinking of loading. Um... I was thinking about um, when I eventually want to stream the Eco Trilogy. 
Eco Shadow of the Colossus and uh The Last Guardian. I was gonna call it the dog game because I was like, what the, heck is it the Last Guardian. And um I realized that Eco is a CD game, so I can't exactly burn a copy to run like this. <laughs> the giant dog game, yeah. Except for the big red dog game. Except for the big feathery dog. Um tri Trico. The uh so what was I gonna say? It's a CD game, so like free DVD boot doesn't work. Um, which will be kind of awkward. Um I don't know, I, I think it might just run okay off of OPL because it's I was taking a look at it to see if it uses any FMVs, which is generally the big issue with OPL games. If you try to run off of a USB flash drive using the, the USB ports, that's USB 1.1, and it doesn't work very well. Um. Oh, gosh. A crow. Or a magpie. I think I saw mostly magpies and not so much crows when I visited Japan. Or in, in Korea. Definitely a bunch of magpies in Korea. Funny little fellows. Oh yeah, we went in here and found a file. Uh, okay. I have some idea. Let's go back this way. We gotta keep a lookout for the uh, fierce mask. Angry, angry mask. I confused it for the lion mask, but that's not it. Um. Oh, that's right, Eco. But I'm thinking it might be fine, unless it's got some FMVs or some other weird, um, like, loading problems when playing over a flash drive. I think when I play it, that might just be the way to stream it. It might just be the way to do it. Um, right. I think... Th I want to say the gap in the wall is in, maybe in this hallway. Is this not a door? Oh. I've been foiled once again by not a door. Not a door calls for aid. No. Anyway. I was thinking about it because I like to plan ahead for... streams, and I'm eager to get to that game, because I haven't had a reason to use my PS4 otherwise. Uh, good old, um, good old Trico is my re main reason for having a PS4 right now. <laughs> Not a door. Good one, good one. I'm a fabled, fabled Mr. Door. It's so funny, the gap in the wall really stood out to me the first time. I think I'd remember where it was. All I can remember is it was in one of the hallways. Hmm. At least I think so. I might be wrong. It would be nice to have a little strafing in this for moments like that. Like, oh, you need to stand in front of the, the correct panel. Oh, what? This is a new thing? Oh, is that another dead child? Oh no. They're on the floor... Oh, they're in like the mat... 
room in front of like a little box on a shelf, I think. That's interesting. So I could go back there and find something. Okay, I mean maybe I should, because I don't I'm I'm kind of at a loss for for this wall gap that I'm looking for. The crevice. Are you looking at the kimono? It's faded and dusty, but the red lining is still vivid. Yeah. Sh shines out a little better than before, doesn't it? Now that the house has gone back in time a little bit. Is it in here? No, where, where am I looking for? I think it is this next room. No. Doesn't seem right. I can check the door again, but I don't think there's anything new in here. Nah. thinking about other games. I was also thinking about Mass Effect again, because uh, it turns out that the EA app does not work on my, on my Linux computer. At least I couldn't get it to with a bunch of trying and the normal recommendations. So that'll be fun. It'll be fun to figure out. Uh, it's not It's not especially high on my list, but I think it would be fun to give the trilogy another try one of these days. The trouble is, like, how I actually do it, and will I be able to? You know, is it... Was it here, maybe? No. Any way to just download the game and not go through the EA app? Yeah, actually there is. Because I bought my copy of each of the original Mass Effect games, all three of the trilogy, from a uh, different service, which still works, although it's very finicky and a little fishy. Uh, it doesn't have the best name. It's uh, a little website called uh, Gamers Gate, with an S. <laughs> the S is important. Gamers Gate. Um, yeah. It's weird. It's They have their own, like, weird little... Each game that you can install has its own little executable that uh, that you run with. Um oh, weird. I think there were... Oh, whatever. You see their name often coming up using, when using Steam Augment. Uh. Yeah, it's like... I think it was just like... It ended up being pretty cheap. Yeah, you think you got a key from them? Yeah. I think it was just because they were- it was a pretty cheap option. And I want to say at the time, like, Steam didn't... Maybe- actually, it might have been so early that, like, Origin was not really an option, or Origin was, like, somehow worse than it is- than the EA app is now. I don't remember exactly why I got it from there, but that's where I got it. I got it and a few other games. More than a few. But most of them had, like, a Steam key, so they live on Steam now. Uh, and since the EA app does not have a dedicated offline mode, it has, like, a fake offline mode uh, that doesn't allow you to log in, or that requires you to be online to log in, um, I can't use it on my Windows PC anymore because my Windows PC has to be uh, cordoned off from the internet in order to be safe. In order to protect it. So, any games that I can only play on the EA app are gone unless I can get them somewhere else. It's a shame. I think I got Star Wars Squadrons 
a while ago, and I didn't play much of it because it's very difficult. And for the life of me, I cannot remember where this wall crevice is. Maybe it's upstairs somewhere? Oh, basement. Wait. Am I looking for like a floor hatch to go downstairs? But anyway. I was able to get Mass Effect installed using their installer, except that, kind of. Their installer actually didn't work. Um, it crashed, but all of the like game files get downloaded as part of the process and they are kept in like a temporary folder and you can choose to keep the folder. Uh, so what I ended up doing, it, which works for Mass Effect 1 anyway, is you can just extract all of the zipped like files because it's basically just like a cd kind of hack and uh or it's basically a hack to like install the game without a cd and you can just sort of like zip out all the files into the target directory and that's the install like that's basically all i had to do it was annoying but it worked oh hey welcome welcome to chat wapified uh i could use a tip for the crevice actually yeah because i found it I swear I found it, like, on the first stream when I, like, was running around, and I don't have it for the life of me. I don't know where it is. But I was about to go up to the second floor. So, yeah, if you could drop me a hint without saying where it is outright, that'd be nice. Because I know it's not in the fish room. And it's not in the garden past the fish room. Oh, right. I remember where this is. It's a square walkway. Square walkway. Hmm. Boy, I'm trying to remember. I want to say it's on the first floor. Square walkway, you say? Actually, I wonder, I should just look at the photo again. Maybe that'll help me too. Oh, this is a girl pulled through door. Oh, I see. There's a person reaching out to grab them. I guess I'll figure that one out next. All right. This is so close up that, like, you can't guess, like, where the surrounding area actually is. Hmm. There's a light in there. Hmm. Square walk, what you say? I don't want to get hung up on that too much, but... Let's see. Oops. You think you saw it on the map? Ooh. Okay, there you go. What? Miku getting stuck on stuff. Hmm. I feel like I passed it a bunch of times, too. Be, 
Well, I gotta look for I gotta look for you now, man, to find to find the crevice. See where you're peeking out. Keep y'all keep your eyes out for uh, for a sprout peeking out around the corner. Well, I have I have an idea, I guess. She's so short on the undub version. Is she in shorter too? I actually didn't notice. I know they changed a lot, like they changed her face. And she has like this solid necktie. Solid like straight red necktie instead of the like kind of kind of cravat kerchief. Kerchief. Oh, here it is. My goodness. <laughs> Square walkway is right. Oh, we found the girl's hiding spot. Nice. Uh oh my gosh, I just took this photo and I don't remember where I took it. I think down here in the lamp hallway maybe? Oh wait, I actually didn't map out in my head how to get there. Uh Okay, we can go through the kimono in the doll room again. <laughs> it's close? Okay. Wait. Yeah. I'll get there, I'll get there. Oh, there we are. I'm a little worried because we haven't run into a ghost yet. But I did banish a bunch of them last time, so maybe there aren't all that many hanging around. They're waiting for me to hit a quest trigger. Oh, there we go. Wait. I'm really annoyed at EA <laughs> in this whole EA app thing. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, right, that's why it's a yellow door. Okay. Oh, that, oh yeah, I took the photo here. Okay. Well, I should try that door with the candle on it, because I think that's where the boy ran. Might as well try it while it's nearby. Although it didn't have... Maybe not, because it didn't have a seal on it. I gotta find this door that had a seal. Seal. Oh, I thought I, I thought I heard a seal, but it was just my imagination. Sfeel? Huh. Nah, Sfeel is when uh is those like bigger tumbler locks. They put it like it's rotund. Yeah, I guess it has to be that door in the lamp hallway. Or one of these doors. Actually, let's go upstairs and check these, because I don't remember which one, if one of these had a, uh, thing on the on it. This feels adorable, though. I actually, I never saw, like, the anime version of Sfeel to hear what it sounds like. Whoops. Oh, wait, no, not this door. Oh, wait, maybe yes, this door? Yeah, because this one's boarded over. Oops. Boarded over doors for when we go back in time. Some more. Now we gotta go through the being John Malkovich door. And the, uh... Building between two, uh, or the the floor in between the other floors. Right, and where's the lock door from here? Uh, kind of the way I'm facing. Huh? Oh no, this is the door. <laughs> it's just gonna be dumb. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, and the uh, thinking of uh, Miku's character, character model. She also had the uh, they changed her hair color, so that was strange. Oh hello. Nice. I guess I missed this before. Gosh, that door closing sound makes me think of uh, Symphony of the Night. That was another game I was thinking about recently. Wait, what's over there? Oh, this goes to- oh, wait. Yeah, 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 this goes down to that level. Okay. She's paler too here, and her skirt is the same color as her skin. Yeah. Oh, this is it. No more talisman. The force that was holding the door shut is gone. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, because they didn't change Mafuyu at all for the localization. So, like, they don't... They look different from each other. God, it's the same camera. There's an odd piece of paper on the desk. Mikoto is missing. She said she was only going to play Oni Tag here in the mansion. I don't think she would have gone outside. She had that camera with her. None of Mikoto's four friends have come home either. It's as if they've all been snatched up away by ghosts. It was four friends, like the newspaper clipping. Yeah, she she is in a haunted house. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you be pale, too, if you're <laughs> beset by ghosts? That can only be defeated with a uh, very old photo camera. Oh, there's some sound effects missing in the undub, like when ghosts die. Are there? Huh, I wonder. I never played the regular version, or the regular fail frame localization, so I don't know. Uh, it's as if they've been snatched up away. It's been three days since Makoto was snatched away from us, or spirited away, you might say. This game seemed to like the puns earlier with, uh, <laughs> with, with Takamine. Everything has been so strange. Ever since we moved to this mansion, ever since we got that camera. If I lost my sanity now, too, I wouldn't have to think about it anymore. I could be free. No, don't do it. I can see them. I can see them now, even without the camera. Oh, for a second, I forgot where Miku was. <laughs> And I was like, oh no, there's a go there's one of them now. But like for some reason I I'm thought she was like standing in the middle of the frame, but no, she's over there. It's just Miku. Piece of a woman's diary on my file. And a phonograph. Or a gramophone. Actually, oh, I think I did an Americanism. I think phonograph is actually a brand uh, a brand name, and gramophone is like the non-brand name one. Oh hey, a key. A uh, bronze, like in the photo. Uh oh. Oh, this is the woman playing the zither. Um, although there's probably a more accurate name for this. A koto. That's it. There's a big koto. It looks clean, as if it had been used recently. Yeah, it's almost as if we saw right through this little uh. Right through this window, um, a figure playing it, and we could hear th the music. It won't open. Maybe it's broken. Okay. What's this? What's this weird? What's this weird like? I think a uh, sitar is from India. Yeah. Well, I think isn't a zither like a more general term like zither with a z? Oh, is it? Wait, phonograph and gramophone are both unbranded words? Oh. I wonder what the difference is then. Oh, you know what? Phonograph is like Edison's thing, isn't it? Phonograph is like... A gramophone is like specifically the blank disc, or the flat disc, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, shamisen is also is a similar Japanese instrument. Yeah, yeah. That's a name I recognize. Uh, from... Oh boy, I don't remember where the key goes. I mean, it's gotta be that other locked door. Um, but yeah, from, uh, from a college course, I remember learning about, um... Okay, we can go back to where the key. Uh, from a college course I learned, uh, ages ago I learned about, um... Oh, is this specifically German, is it? Oh. The key's for a safe. Is it? I wanna I wanna see if there's like a hint on the uh, photo we took. Wait, where is it? Key and photo. Oh it doesn't it doesn't uh if only I remembered exactly where I took it. You sure it's not for the door, like, uh, down here? I was, I was pretty sure that was it. Um, but alright. I guess that'd be in the storehouse. Oh yeah, you're right, I should check the description of the key. A small key made of bronze for a chest of drawers or something. Oh yeah. Uh, there's this room. The ante room had a locked chest, maybe? I'm gonna check anyway. Um, or maybe there was one in here. The description in the file was better. Oh no, we already found something in here, didn't we? Oh, but I missed the shiny! Nice. Now we get to freeze more ghosts. Uh... Why, why am I so lost? Okay, here we are. Let's try the ante room because I thought. Oh no, the ante room had the chest that was like. Um, humidity had like kind of shut it where you can open anything. It wasn't locked. Okay, let's go back this way. Um, maybe it was in the storeroom after all. Because we didn't get anything useful out of the storeroom, but, so it feels like this is a place to look. Oh, I like that action camera. Oh. You're not going to see that in Resident Evil. They had to have still shots. Oh, oh that was close. Oh, that's bad. They're in the wall. Ooh, this is a new spirit, isn't it? Oh, crap. How'd you do that? That's cheating. Oh, there, I gotcha. I guess it had a second, it had a different move. That's spooky. That was like a different effect than the other ghosts. Than the other spirits. Here. Oh, and hands scraping along the wall. Does Miku have anything to say? The hallway walls are painted with blood. Maybe the ghosts with the long arms did it? Oh, they only did it on one side, though. No time to check everything in here. Okay, kimonos and old dolls. Well, I guess the chest is probably going to have the mask that we need, isn't it? Uh, I'm trying to remember where it was. Up here. It's so dark in this room. It was lit up a little bit in the present day. No. 
this maybe? Oh, oh. Maybe I should check the description in the file. Oh, the library safe. Okay, oops. <laughs> I should have checked that. Uh, the library, the library B is not on this floor. No, Grand Hall. Uh, is this, no, the doll room. That's the library. Wait, what was locked in the, oh, oh, right, a chest or something. Uh... Okay, we can go down the storeroom and then through the rope room. Because this is flipped the wrong way. Okay. Oh yeah, I should check. I'll let, I'll let Miku descend the ladder. I should check my uh, experience points? Spirit points? It's probably a term. Let's see if we can get anything good. I don't think so. I still haven't found any of these. Well, there are two libraries. Oh. Are there? There's a big one and a little one. I mean, it'll be a place I've gone to already. Because that's how I took the picture. There was the rubble room. The abyss. The cherry atrium. Oh, the special function is only for New Game Plus? Okay. Uh, thanks for- <laughs> thanks for clearing that up. I'm glad I, uh, glad to not be, uh, antagonizing about it for the rest of the game, wondering if I missed something. What kind of stuff do the special functions do? Is it like sepia tone or something? Oh, auto-aim and limited film. Oh yeah, cheats. Uh, classic, classic game, video game style cheats, like integrated into the world. I love that. I miss that. More games, more games should do little like passwords and things like that. Not to harp on about Resident Evil 4, but it reminds me of the, uh, the alternate costumes and like super super powerful weapons you could get. Excuse me. Like putting Ashley in the armor so that she, she... The armor is so heavy that anyone trying to pick her up just falls over and then anyone trying to attack her just gets deflected because it's impenetrable. Alright. Wait, what was the exit from this room? I'm facing it. Oh, there it is. Oh, I forgot we had to move the, uh, painting or rubble out of the way. Gotta build up the suspense. And there wasn't anything else in here. Even though I am going to open it anyway. Okay, so it's not this room then. Is there a library in this floor? Like, I guess this little room 
I don't think this room had anything in it, did it? Maybe I did take a photo in there. And I just forgot. Well, we can get there pretty quick. Wait, where am I going? going I'm just... I'm doing a lap. We're just getting in some uh, calisthenics real quick. Getting in... Getting in just a little jogging lap for Miku here. Even now, I can't help but appreciate the, the lighting in this. Oh, your legs are going to be so buff after this adventure. Yeah, totally. Oh, you again. I know how to deal with you, kind of. Oh, dang it. I, I, I said I knew how to deal with you when I got the timing all wrong. There we go. I'm not gonna wait, I'm just gonna get you. Ah, uh, maybe I will wait. That's a pretty good photo. Yeah. That's right, Miku never skips leg day, and neither should you. Oh, broken neck. Interesting. I like this one. Oh yeah, it's oh the wandering man. It's curious that um it all starts uh The photos only remain for the session. Unless you protect them and like put them somewhere else, I guess. Store them in the uh Uh, store them in the album. That's interesting. It's almost like you can overwrite your film stock somehow, which is not really how film cameras work. Or maybe Miku... I mean, Miku doesn't have a lot of pockets to hold all this stuff in. Oh, oops, that's not where I meant to go. The little ghost encounter kind of threw me off. Yeah. yeah, this end type uh, has been pretty interesting so far. This end type mod. How, how much taller did they make Miku? That's that, that's like a weird a weird kind of plot thing I've been wondering about. Actually, is like it, Miku seems to be very young, but like, how? Why it, would she be out here? Like, so far in the middle of nowhere looking for her brother if she also had, like, a school life. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't... Or is this, like, is... It, we're in December. It's like, is this a time of the year when students have, uh, time off? It's anime logic, that's why? Okay. Oh, there it is. This is where we need the key. There's a bronze safe on the desk. It doesn't look very bronze, but I'll take your word on it, Miku. A small keyhole is in the door. Let me use the bronze key. Found the folklore research documents inside the safe. Okay, the mask of reflection. The mask worn by the Himuro family mem master is called the mask of reflection. The legend goes it can become the face of an angel or a demon, meaning its facial expression reflects the nature of the one who is wearing the mask. 
Inside Himuro Mansion is the Mask Room, where all the masks used for the rituals are kept, and the Mask of Reflection serves as its key. The document mentioned that the mask, when worn by a master, when worn by the master, turned into the face of a demon at the last ritual. Okay. The master, he would be the... Man before study. Oh, Yai took her life, her own life? After all that? God, it kind of spooked me. Because I was like, not expecting another ghost. Only well, hadn't found the camera. Don't blame her. She didn't know what it was. Oh, Miku's only 17 here? Wow. Yeah, delayed jump scare. I guess we, her mother faced the same fate as the uh, Mudokata family matriarch, Yai Mudokata. Uh, navigation time. Actually, we can go save. It's a good save time. She's a, she's a freak who sees ghosts. Oh, let's be a little kinder. Use a little kinder words than freak. But yeah, uh, let's do this one. Yeah, it sounds about right. Uh, but it sounds about right for her, for her age. I, like I, I think I read up on, like where the school uniforms come from, and it's kind of a fascinating story. But it's like they have rules about how they're supposed to look, and I guess this is just, like, casual clothes, but it seems like a very short skirt. Like, unusually short. Especially considering it's winter. It'd be pretty cold, wouldn't it? But, um... I know, the way that I read it, uh, Japanese people... Around the time that, like, Westerners were allowed to, like, back in to visit Japan, like, rich, rich Westerners visiting Japan would have, like, their children wearing sailor suits. And so that suit was, that outfit was seen as, like, a sign of wealth. And it also happened to be kind of easy to sew. The, like, square kind of collar and the, like, ruffled skirt and stuff was kind of, like, easy to teach uh, young girls how to sew their own clothing. And so it kind of took on as a trend. Yeah, you don't think they're that short, but the target audience... Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right, Mav. I mean, I can see why they... I don't know that they made it all that longer in the English version either. It just doesn't have the transparency on it. It probably is a little longer. What's weird is that part of it, it kind of looks almost like shorts. It almost looks like shorts and then a skirt layer on top of it to match, which is very strange. The album I saw from the Moon Observatory is on the ground. Oh, the mother f was taking photos. That's right.
Oh, where'd you go? What? Oh, crap. I was gonna run, but... Oh, dang it. Oh, there's a shiny. Oh, oh, oh. No, run, run, run. Yeah. Oh, what? I turned too far. Quick, quick, quick. Get into the thing. Okay. Uh, we got sacred water. Go, go, go. No, why are you so fast? Gotcha. Oh, that didn't do hardly anything. Oops. Nope, get out of the freaking not. Uh. We'll use the big film. Oh no, I was too slow. The later fatal frames are are more blatant. No, they're worse about it. Oh jeez, even that doesn't do that much damage. Oh. Don't go in the building. I don't have any other special abilities yet. Oh, where'd you go? No, I pressed a button. Ah, oh, man. Jeez. Just so much damage. I gotta use the slow motion, I think, again. Oh, the medicine dealt, did a lot. Hang on. Yeah, take that. No, 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 don't run at her. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Okay. Thank goodness for stereo sound. For stereo all around. Okay, we got her. A row of dolls shows in the photo. Oh, you know what? I probably, like, did a body shot, which was weaker before. Because that one did a lot of damage. Oh, if I wait, there's a small circle on their heads. If I hit the center, I'll do more damage. She lost her daughter, Mikoto. <laughs> Thanks, for the Thanks for the film, game. Well, now that we have some Type 14, let's save the uh, better stuff. Oh, wait, can we do... Oh, we can do speed. I think I want to save up for another one of these bonus. Pressure, I think, would be really useful. Or C... Uh, C... This one seems like it would be useful to, like, build up the gauge, except that, that it builds up so fast and I'm not worried about that anymore. Yeah, so let's do this one. I guess we have to equip which one we want to use as well, but... Well, we'll see. Interesting. I got all three shots. Oh yeah, I should actually check the photography. Yeah, that's so weird that they did... I was thinking about that, I was I was kind of wondering about it before, like, there's no way that people actually get, like, excited about any, any of the characters in this game, because, like, anybody who's not, like, the main two characters, Makoto and her brother Mafuyu, are children, basically, and then, um, everybody else is a ghost. Uh, who was, like, very brutally killed or sacrificed. Oh, well, the numbers are shutter speed on the film. Oh, right, so the... the higher shutter speed is more powerful. That's interesting, 74. I wonder, I wonder what measurement that is exactly. Maybe it's kind of arbitrary. 
Oh, this is the one we read before. Mafu is 21 here. Oh, okay, he's not exactly a child. I guess Oni-san is for older brother then, because she, she keeps calling him Oni-san, which I thought was like... Or no, Nissan must be older or same age brother, right? And then Oni's for like a younger. I don't know. I don't remember Japanese. Okay, so the row of dolls... Oh, this is in the temple, isn't it? I gotta look out for the Japanese dolls. Oh, is respectful. Okay. Oh, you posted a comment on the videos about it. Oh, weird. Weird that I didn't get a notification. I'll have to look for that. Uh, anyway. Now would be a good time for the midstream break. Yeah, I was I was checking to be sure I didn't pick up a mask, and I did not. So... I mean, we can look in the doll room real quick. I don't think this circle of dolls is in the doll room. But I will check it. Okay. Now that makes more sense. So, Nissan is more familiar than saying, oh... Me. Yes. Oh, a doll that is covering her eyes appears in the middle of the row of dolls. Yeah, I guess we got our clue. Gotta find the missing doll. somewhere. Okay, well, we'll do this after the break. I gotta actually take a break. Okay. <laughs> it's been an hour. It's time, it's time for a break. Oh. Oni is older. Ototo is younger. There is no equal. Oh, weird. You know, I did... What little Japanese I've learned is from Duolingo, so I think they might have uh, led me wrong there. <laughs> or I misread it. Okay. That's neat. That's neat to learn. Uh, well, let's go to the break. I'll put on more... Um, I finally added some hot Need for Speed 3 um, music, so maybe I'll click one of those. Because it feels like, feels like a wrong choice here. Uh, I'll put out some... Uh, Mystery Dungeon music then, actually.
All right. Oh yeah, I'm. That's <laughs> where the Dino Dance is dancing faster. Yeah, I wonder if it's not if it's not frame dependent or if it is frame dependent. The uh, animated Twitch emojis. Also, welcome, Amako. I think I noticed you arrive and I didn't say I forgot to say welcome. Welcome. Um. Yeah, I'm also I'm switching up my headphones. I'm going to use some uh, studio monitors that I have, which are, I say studio monitors, they're not good, but they're better than like typical headphones. And I think they have like, they have like a better range and I wonder if they'll sound, sound better. You forget how O is used. For your own brother, you'd probably just say Nissan. Oni is used for non-relatives. Oh, that, that makes sense. I feel like maybe that's how it was being used in, um, Duolingo examples, like his brother would be Oni-san. Oni-san. Uh, alright, we gotta find a doll. I think there was dolls in... something. It's used in formal speech, so it's old-fashioned too, yeah. That makes sense. I mean... Human human Japanese is a much better app to actually learn Japanese specifically than something like Duolingo, I think, which tries to be like everything. But you know, human Japanese is uh, um, from my from my little experience and how it's been recommended to me, it seems like a much better choice. Oni, oh yeah, Oni San. Oh no, it's Oni Sopin. He's taking his he's taking his Oni tax. He's gonna catch he's gonna win the game of tag and catch me. Uh Oh, why did I leave the room? I'm I'm such a dummy. I found the frickin' thing. I found the puzzle I'm supposed to do and I just left. Okay. Oh, du Duolingo also fired most of its translators and placed them in AI. What? Ah, oh, screw Duolingo. I mean, their crowdsourcing setup was not great, but man. That sucks. And what really sucks is that large language, like, translation is actually, like, a decent use case for large language models, but you need, like, a person to direct that. And, like, people who are, like, familiar with the languages are, you know, you need to hire experts and, like, the large language model can, like, help them do the work. It shouldn't, it can't be replacement. Okay, who's in the front of the back? Who's covering her face? I don't see any of them covering her face. Your best meals have been in Japanese restaurants. Very overpriced, but worth it. Yeah. And some, I've been, I've started trying to make some uh, meals at home that like Asian, various Asian style stuff. Wait, let me, let me read that description again. It's not going to be po a possible for LLMs to properly translate language for a really long time. Yeah. No, I'm what I'm thinking is the um you uh in front of the bank. Yeah, I what I'm thinking with LLMs is that like the the purpose is to construct a like f syntactically functional sentence so like if you know you but you need you would need a translator i think you're 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 on the right track there amako which is like i think i agree that like a, a, an llm by itself won't be able to translate but like if you have a person directing if you have a person who knows one of the languages a lot better than the other you can kind of direct the model like you can feed in like i think this is what the english should be and get some like i don't know then again like a good translator like it's an llm isn't is still not going to like be a i don't know how useful it's going to be 
front of the back. Uh, am I wrong? I guess that was right. Or maybe I don't learn that I'm wrong until I've done everything else. Since I've got everybody hooked in their daily streaks, no one wants to quit. Yeah. I mean, actually, I quit because I missed... <laughs> I started missing my dailies. <laughs> so maybe we have to get people to, like, miss their dailies. Oh, no, that was wrong. Oh, no, no, no. I thought I had to click away the message. In front of the... You are, right? Yeah, dueling was dueling was not enough to learn the language. It's true. It's almost more like a little game, a little language-based game. Wait, what was that wrong? This one isn't. She's facing the back, so she's in. Or oh, I guess she's in. <laughs> Okay, I think I've been doing this puzzle wrong and somehow getting the right answer. Who's in? Fr it's like a conga line, and whoever's in front of the last position person is the right one, I guess. Oops. You hear Lingo Deer is better for that gamified Duolingo experience. I have not heard of Lingo Deer. Oh, this one is covering their eyes. I can kind of see it. Okay. It's funny, there was, uh, there was some language-based app that actually had, like, people who could tutor you. I can't remember what it is. But it was, like, more, much more, like, driven by people who know what they're talking about and a more limited selection of languages. I think Japanese and Korean were maybe in there. Kagome. Okay. Kagome doll. On the pedestal, the drawer opened slowly. Oh, there's a strange mask inside the drawer. We found it. An angie mask. It's got an angie expression. I've seen that thing somewhere else, too. Okay, cool. We done it. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, maybe they should use, not use back and use end. Yeah, for that puzzle. Uh, I mean, I, I did make sense of it eventually. But yeah, it's not, it's not the best. It's not the best translation. <laughs> oh, I see, because I was talking about Resident Evil 4 so much. Got a good selection of languages to teach you, stranger. Gotta have a lot of guts to learn German, stranger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what are you selling? What are you buying? What are you speaking? Uh, I guess we just use the mask. Yeah, the mask is the key to the thing. So we go here. And we probably run into another monster. Another ghost. Not monster. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Which, which weapon is that for? Stranger, stranger. Now that's a language. That for the rocket launcher? Oops. I think the mine thrower is the one that he says you need to have a lot of guts. I always like to imagine that uh, if you tried to buy it too early in the story, then he would go, Not enough guts, stranger. The way he says not enough, not enough cash. Yeah, it might have been rocket launcher. <laughs> a fine... Fine weapon indeed, stranger. Fine language, the language of explosives, of high explosives. Oh, enjoy your dinner, my friends, yeah? 
feel like I need to turn up the volume on my new on my other headphones. Oh, you're getting RE4 and Bloodborne mixed up out there. I need to play Bloodborne. Oh, crap. I mean, I finally have a PS4. I could do it. Okay, where? I gotta look for the circle. I don't see it. Oh, the little... Oh, I see it. The circle that's, like, floating around there. Okay. I see the little circle now. Now, what ghost was that? This one is the woman hanging. What's a floating woman? This looks like a cryptid. I'm gonna save this one. It looks kind of neat. Look at that. It's like... Crawling around on the floor, and her face is all distorted. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe these headphones aren't making much of a difference because it's only a PlayStation 2. It doesn't have like the most uh, wide soundscape. Oh, well, they changed the lines in the remake. Yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. I think I talked about this before, but the RE4 remake, it does a lot of things good, and generally the vibe of it feels wrong to me. Like, it feels too serious. Like, they should have kept the camp and, uh... Miku? There you go. I think they should have kept more of the camp and then also, like, you know, improved Lewis's character and removed the, like, misogynistic jabs at Ashley's body and stuff. I don't know, because it's, like, a little too serious. Like, I think one thing that I noticed the streamer pointed out is that the Wii Edition said sucks. Oh, I do love the Wii Edition. That's the version I played. I noticed something a streamer pointed out was, um while they're playing is that when Ashley gets attacked in the remake in the re in the reform make um it's like it's almost like it's distressing it's like her, her scream is like almost too real or like I don't know you need sandy cheeks to ham it up a little bit so it's not like it doesn't like make you feel so bad oh wait is this not where we put the mask A big mask painted red. It has a furious expression. I don't want to grow up. I don't want to grow up. Don't want to... Wear, uh, wear a furious expression. Wear a furious expression. And abide by every rule. If growing up means it will be beneath my dignity to climb a tree. I'll never grow up, never grow up, never grow up. Not me. Yeah, this, this is it, isn't it? Am I crazy? Photo of entrance wall decoration. It shows a furious looking mask. Oh, is this not the entrance wall? I guess the mask goes for somewhere else. Next game should be re three or re four. But well, the next game I should stream? Maybe. I mean, I I was playing. I have a list of other games that I kind of want to do. Uh, I didn't think about streaming Re4. The thing is that I would want to play the Wii version again, and streaming Wii games is a little weird. I don't have really a good setup for that. Um, I was actually thinking of doing um, Eternal Darkness next. <laughs> a little weird. Oh uh, yeah, weird with W I I weird. 
Oh, you know what? I should be checking the map. I forgot. I've got a map. Uh, did I really take a photo at the entrance? Guess I did. It's not bad with Wii U if you can get your hands on that. I mean, I have a Wii U, too. The, the, the trick is I need enough room to move around my Wiimote, and, like, my the way I have my mic set up doesn't have, like, good space for that. Like, I had trouble when I would stream Twilight Princess on the Wii, um, like a year, a few years ago. Entrance wall decoration. What was in the, uh... Oh, it actually tells me the numbers. So the Folklorist Diary, we don't have the first two pages yet. That supposedly works with the GameCube controller. Yeah, but if, if I was going to play the Wii edition of RE4 anyway, I would want to play it with the with the Wii Emote aiming. Am I crazy? Where's the... Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can become the face of an angel or demon, meaning its expression reflects the nature of the one who's wearing the mask. Okay, the mask room is locked by the mask. The mask of reflection serves as its key. Okay, so maybe this is not the entrance to the mask room. Is there somewhere else? It's not this building. Maybe it's one of these. I'm so confused. I was sure. You know what? Because it's the it's the eyes poking out your. It's the like poke out your eyes mask. I guess opens this door. That's so weird. I thought it would have been this. I thought it would have been the scary mask. Oh yeah, it won't it won't work the GameCube controller natively, but there might be mods that let it work. Otherwise there's a white dolphin. Yeah. But no, if I I mean, you know, I am I'm not gonna write off doing a Resident Evil an original Resident Evil 4 stream. But you know. I, I like I I I was I played that game so many times I kind of would I would like to stream a game I haven't played. Which is why we're doing Fatal Frame. Oh yeah, and there's the PC version. Oh, this it's the blue smoke again. And then this column has been like weirdly collapsed. Uh I know the PC version is supposed to be pretty decent. I don't really want to buy the game again though. <laughs> I already have, um, I have bought the GameCube version. Maybe that would be worth streaming, because I haven't played it, and I know that it's got- I know some of the differences. But again, like, I- I have Eternal Darkness set up, and I kind of would like to do that next. Ah, oh, dang, we don't have enough for pressure. Gotta keep saving up. Yeah, I think you can get the PC- I think you can get the PC one on Steam, like the the original. And people have been making mods for it and stuff. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I thought I was. Yeah. It'd be cool to get a component cable for the GameCube. Because I have a, I have an S video, which is what I'm, which is also what I'm using for my PS2 
recording right now. That's why it's so crisp. I was going to mention before, like in that cutscene with Miku, Miku's face really close up, I was like, this looks really good and detailed. It's like a PS2 game. And that 480i output resolution is really good. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm pretty often impressed with this game. Okay, now is this the mask room? Nah, dang. Maybe that other door up here? Yeah, they do still so. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I imagine it went on sale when the new one came out because that's how you, um... That's how you get, like, a bunch of new sales. Oh, no, wait. Boy, this is so weird. I... I'm sure this is it, but we can't open this door. Photo of entrance wall decoration. I guess I'm going back to the entrance. It's the only place that makes sense. Based on this description. Uh, it's a bit of a way. Uh, unless we go through the save room and use the stairs. Okay, so let's do that. No, it's not on sale, it's cheaper. Yeah, Bayonetta. Yeah, Bayonetta came out on PC a while ago. I remember that was kind of a thing, because for a while, uh... Hello? Somebody was here. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Yeah, I remember, um... I think the uh, the Wii U version still has, like, the most content for, for Bayonetta 1, doesn't it? Because it has the Nintendo characters, character costumes. That's a weird one. I don't know if I would ever feel comfortable streaming that. There's something... Some people are fiercely defensive of Bayonetta, and other people are in light, but like it also is like... Or they're fiercely defensive of Bayonetta as like a game that's not problematic, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know that I can like totally sign on with that. It's probably not a game you should stream without an 18 plus rating, yeah. That's true. Oh, crap. Ah, run, run, run. I want to see if we can actually run away from the ghost this time. Oh, come on. Miku. Oh, no, it got me anyway. Wait, I need to change my film. Oh, that's right. This three has a mode that makes it less, <laughs> less like a like a lower rage rating. I mean, I, I would say that my my issue is more like the general vibe and theming of the game more so than the like than any strictly like sensual kind of content i don't know it's hard to lay out i feel like this is the wrong setting to discuss it we're, we're like ignoring fatal frame to talk about bayonetta feels kind of silly i also went the wrong way trying to get away from a ghost but that's good to know ghosts follow you from room to room that's uh resident evil didn't do that at least old Resident Evil didn't do that. So more more points for Fatal Frame. Um, I don't know. It was like it, it's Bayonetta reminds me a lot of Blood Rain, 
which is like very schlocky. You're not supposed to take it too seriously. Oh. Hey. Don't be mean, rope. Naive angel mode. Is that what it's called in Bayonetta? Well. Uh. Cold air is flow flowing through a big hole in the floor. Something fell through here. Yes. Sounds like something breathing. Oh, there's this, like, wall mount that we can put the mask onto. I remember this. There used to be a mask hanging here. Yes. Oh. In addition to the game's standard presentation, a display mode known as Naive Angel Mode is introduced. It conceals displays of nudity during gameplay and cinematics, uh, as well as the more graphic designs of certain enemies and demons. Okay, that's interesting. See, I see. Naive angel. Naive angel, naive angel. I don't know how the songs goes. Up from Back to the Future. I think some of these photos are hard to find. Oh, there's something there. Talking ghosts. Okay. And then we've also got this. Ah, a pillar with a mask hanging on it shows in the photo. Is the pillar missing? People got so mad this is added. I don't think that, that that's dumb. We don't need to be mad about that. Ugh. The dorm seems to be locked, but I don't see a keyhole. That image is going to haunt me tonight. When I'm trying to sleep. Okay, ma uh, mask jump scare warning, I guess. Oh, this one's okay. Joyful mask is hanging here. Oh. Let's leave for a minute. Is Miku joyful? Do we need to pick the mask that, like, represents her? Yeah, exactly. This- this other- this other version of the game is just- is just an option that you can choose. Uh, people are like, oh, this is cowardly. People complaining about being prudish. But it's like... Yeah, it's- it's dumb. It's also like- uh, or complaining about it is dumb, I mean. It's also like... You know, they know that streamers are going to play the game, and, like, if you want the game to be played on stream, you have to be... It has to be, like, within the guidelines. Oh, sad mask is hanging here. Okay, the guy went through the sad mask door. Okay. Yeah, they don't... They don't like that people have the option to add less... To have less nudity and such. That it's not Bayonetta anymore in that mode. Hmm. This isn't the Bayonetta I knew. Yeah. It would be the same if there's like a new Blood Rain game that did that too, I bet. Except the people aren't really up in arms about Blood Rain. I guess when we say people, we really mean like teenage men, teenage boys, and uh, man children, probably. Like, I'm not one to, uh, cast dispersions lightly, but, you know, I think it's pretty clear what's going on there. Okay, let's go through the sad mask door. Yeah.
That's Mr. Munakata who is researching the rituals, right? Do we have him in the correlation now? Oh, we do. Ryo oh, that's right. Ryozo. Ryozo Munakata, folklorist who is researching the Himuro family's rituals. He lived in the mansion with his entire family of uh, wife and daughter. It's not, it's not a lot. Yeah, she moved to Himuro Mansion with her parents, but was kidnapped by ghosts. That, something about that phrasing sounds almost like Mikoto chose to move with her parents. It's like, no, she, you know, she's in the, in the care of her parents since they, they moved. Anyway. As if there's anything wrong with, about, with wanting to experience banana without wanting to have her have so much nudity and stuff on screen all, screen all the time. Yeah. Again, it's people complaining about, like, being prudish or whatever. All I see is the pillar in this room. And we need to turn the ma- We need to turn all the doors so the masks are facing inwards and we can pick them up. Yeah, okay. But we only need some masks, I think. I like the spooky music. Oh, hey. This will help me. The masks and their significance and rituals. The binding ritual and the demon tag ritual, or oni tag ritual, are performed by the Himuro family master. The master wears a mask when he performs the ritual. This is probably to eliminate the maiden of all worldly connections. Oh, okay. That's a weird way to phrase it. So it, it, by having the mask on, the ritual maiden spirit won't recognize that he's like of, of this world. Like wearing the mask kind of brings you into the, uh, the other world, the spirit world. All participants of the ritual are family members, meaning the one who is sacrificed and the one who performs the sacrifice may be directly related. My theory is that the mask serves to eliminate the maiden's attachment toward her family. Oh, the maiden wears the mask. My mistake. Gouging out the eyes of the demon in the blind demon ritual may have similar meaning. Or... Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh, is that Mafuyu? Mafuyu has had the blinding mask. Still your resolve, Miku. Don't walk towards her. Oh my gosh. That's pretty- that's- that's... horrific. No, get on- go down the stairs, Miko! Oh, I missed it. Dang. Ah! Uh, no, 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 no. Hmm. I think I take another one.
Oops, that was too fast. Ah, dang it. Oh, I shouldn't walk at all. What do you mean? I've got to walk a little bit. Am I not being quiet enough? Oh, gosh. I mean, I might save that photo, even though it's gruesome. Ooh. Okay. I thought she was going to, uh, say something. But she follows you even if you walk quietly. Oh. Alright. I thought that walking instead of running was quiet enough, but I guess not. I mean, I should notice from how she was still, um, attacking us. Uh, yeah, let's protect that one. Okay. So... Right. So do I take the mask off here? Or I have to put all- I have to return the masks to these positions, don't I? I don't have the mask to hang here. Right. The only way to cheat it is to spam the run button and make no sound. Oh, does it actually respect... Okay, so hearing the little crunch of, like, slowly walking still counts. Like, if I can't hear any sound, then it is working. I feel like this room, this room will have no exits, so maybe we go in there and then come explore it and come back out and take, take the mask with us. And then we leave this mask so we can travel back and forth. Let's see. I want, I want to figure this out. I'm, I'm going to figure it out. Oh, spam like this, you mean? Oh, yeah, because she doesn't make a sound. Like that, that, like, wood, wood plank step sound. Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean, Quapified? Oh, uh, but turning makes a sound. Oh, unless I do this. Could her go? Reminds me of a, a was it TikTok maybe or something? I don't know because I don't use TikTok, but I saw it somewhere else. Of the guy like t posing around the uh, the t posing around the convenience store, just going kind of like bow 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 or whatever. Some music. You can do it a bit quicker, but you don't know how to explain it. I'm, I don't think I'm going to exploit it. Oh, this one's locked. Oh, right, because we need to... Oh. Are there eye holes on this mask for the demon mask, maybe? For the blinding mask? Okay, well, let me check the map again. Okay, yeah, this one I think we can take because we can get to... We don't need to get through this one. Okay, what does this symbol look like? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I recognize this. This is on the family crest when we have to do the, like, sliding puzzle. Okay. It's a dot at the top and kind of a snaking river that meets, like, a tributary. That's how I'm gonna remember it. It just shuffles through the game. Look at her skate! We're doing it! She gracefully glides along the floorboards. Girls be skating. I wonder if I get punished for being greedy. Oh, and this one is the little, uh... It's kind of like a, a dot with a three and a tail, or a little wisp at the bottom. Okay, so it's not- neither of them are for this one. Okay, this is the... Joyful Man. Oh, she knows. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Good job, Miku, on remembering which mask is which. <laughs> Maybe she can read the character. I forget if we ever found out, like... 
where these characters come from, or if they are in fact Sanskrit. Wait, did I take this one? What? Oh, the ma- oh, that- okay. We don't have the mask for this door, do we? There was not a mask on that other one, I guess. Okay. So we take this one to open that door. Yep. That's it. Just become a devout Buddhist. <laughs> oh, they are Sanskrit and Buddhist. Okay. Interesting. We're finding our way to, uh... We're making our path toward enlightenment. Oh, wait, maybe... I think we were talking about Buddhism and Hinduism, uh, before. I think wasn't the... Wasn't one of the key differences of Buddhism is that you could potentially... Potentially. It's unlikely, but, like, there is a potential to reach enlightenment within one lifetime, whereas in Hinduism it has to be over multiple lifetimes. I feel like that's what I learned. And again, I want to say that's what I learned, and I don't know if it's correct. I felt some especially powerful energy off of that woman in the white kimono. I think she's probably the one behind this mansion's curse. I have to somehow appease her spirit before anyone else falls victim to this mansion. Ah, oh, what a what a noble boy, Mafuyu. I have to find out what exactly is keeping her drawn back to this world. And why did she let me go when she had me? I wonder. Maybe that has something to do. Maybe that has something to do with it. Ah, oh, great. What kind of note what kind of note taker are you, Mafuyu? Maybe that has something to do with it. What kind of note is that? You're not gonna explain anything? Well, we're missing one mask. And I've kind of locked myself in here. This is a nice little garden. Actually, does it say on the map what it is? Yeah, just square garden. He writes like Alan Wake. Oh, really? Oh, no! He's the Japanese Alan Wake. He even had his flashlight and a camera. I don't know if Alan Wake had a camera. Granted, this flashlight is way better than Alan Wake's camera, having to run out of batteries all the time. Oh wait, do I? Oh yeah, I have the right film. You know, funny enough, for these, like, hidden ghosts and stuff... Oh, okay. For these hidden ghosts and stuff, I think the low low shutter speed is actually better, so you get like a longer exposure, better image. Oh yeah, where have I seen that? Oh, it's it's here. How do we get in there? Uh, we don't. Wait, does Miku have the... Does Miku have the hacker arms? The hacker arms from System Shock? Do you reach all the way through those... <laughs> all the way through that, like, that big distance to the wooden... Uh, to the stone? Oh, wait. We want to do the older one, so yeah. Oh yeah, I guess this is a separate save item. Oh man. <laughs> this is like a this is kind of a jump stair, isn't it? It's like, oh what's this? Ah, oh, wow. Broken neck. Oh, I got score for these. High score. Something kind of silly looking about this one, just kind of even though I know the part of the backstory is like horrific. I don't know. There's something silly about the way the image is distorted. Like kind of like, hmm. Oh, this is the best photo you could get of me. Hmm. Not a very good job. Oh, yeah. How? 
I wish it kind of, I wish it highlighted the, um, the ones that I were, uh, that I, like, marked. Hang on. You know what, let's, let's do this at the end of the stream rather than, um, right now, which is not quite the end. Sorry, I can't help myself. And wait, wh why is this door locked? Oh. Okay, it's not anymore. Nice. I, I'm so conditioned from playing, like, broken Bethesda games that I'm like, Oh, I'm about to open a door, I better quick save. I had this, like, reflex of, like, I better hit the quick save button before I go through this door. Gosh. Oh, this one should be pretty easy. We only have one path blocked off and six moves. Oh no, we have a few paths blocked off. Never mind. Uh, we don't want to move there because we want that one to be the last one, I think. Ah, oh, dang, wait. I'm gonna reset. Hang on. Uh... Because that one on the left, the like one that's shaped like a gate, that one has the trickiest path to go to. Maybe we can like start it. Oh, there we go. I thought I had another move to do, but I, I was done. You love these puzzles? Yeah. Yeah, there's something really compelling about this, like, five, uh, this pentagonal puzzle. Uh, but having done it, I'm gonna go s and, and, and unlock that door. I'm gonna go, uh, let's, let's, let's end the stream. And I think this is a good way to end all the streams from now on. Let's end the stream by, like, uh, filling out our album. Or wait, I say that, but there's, oh, there's a few minutes left. You know what, let's, uh, let's keep playing, actually. I will save, but let's keep playing first. It's not going to take me f three minutes to do the album. Yeah. I don't know. I was thinking more on Bayonetta from the discussion earlier. I feel like I've heard that some people really latched on to, like, queer theming in Bayonetta 2. Between the like French lady and Bayonetta, and then in Bayonetta three, they everybody felt kind of betrayed, and it's like, well, yeah, maybe they weren't, maybe the authors are just being kind of horny, and not actually trying to represent like uh, gal, gal pals, uh, women who love women. There's a giant wooden carving of the Buddha here. It's right foot. Oh, these are. These are giant ones of the, uh, of the little statues from the temple. So the right foot is there, the left foot is here. Which is odd, because if the left foot is here... Oh no, no, that makes sense. I'm thinking of, like, how if a body would be laid out with the, with the statues in these positions. It would be lying on its back. And the left hand is damaged. Then this one, the right hand is damaged. Oh, there's a door. I think. Yeah, the authors just <laughs> yeah. The authors just being horny. Kind of irks 
Perksy that anyone would think there was anything more than that with like near automata. Oh yeah. Yeah, it definitely does. And maybe there are some interesting things about humanity and machines or whatever in near automata. I don't know because I haven't played it, but also horny. Like there can be both. Let's let's uh let's not pretend that's what it is. Let's not be a Kojima about it. There's a strange white mask on what looks like an altar. Oh, this is the mask of reflection. I can't describe its facial expression. It's very strange. Okay, quick. Equip the better film. Oh, I, that was a really bad shot. Slow shot, yeah. Oh, crap. Did I get him? Not really. Okay, I'm gonna do another slow because I've got a bunch of these stones. Oh, no, I missed. Ah, oh, flip's sake. I was so close. Oh, hang on. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I think I got him, but... Oh, bad. that was a bad shot. Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that... That's a bad... That's an okay word to use. I'll, I'll permit that. Even though... And now it's out of order, but yeah, it, it missed. <laughs> missed. Missed with the auto mod. Oh, man. Okay, let's use the herbal medicine. Just to, like, get out of... I'm almost dead range. Uh, but yeah... You'd rather not play a character that's upskirted every time, every every time you like go on a ladder or something just to see the story. Yeah, or I assume there's like some ladder ladder shenanigans probably. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of free camera points. Yeah, I should check my camera points in a minute. Um, where does this door go? Maybe we can unlock this. Ah, uh, still locked. Oh yeah, I do have a lot. Wow. When did I get this many camera points? Uh, do I want to do one of these? Nah. Let's, I want to get pressure. I think pressure will be really good. Although, I don't know, slow shot's been giving me more points. Nah, let's get pressure, I think. We're gonna start, we're gonna try out pressure. Uh, yeah, it's funny, the, the capture circle, if I want to get like the best shot, the best aim, then the capture circle widening doesn't really help, does it? Unless the capture circle is the one that follows the ghost head, so maybe I do want to. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just gonna spend it all. Done. Oh, every time you jump. Yeah, yeah, every- you don't want to see it- you don't want to play a character that gets skirted every time you jump. It just- it ended up being just- the word just twice. Yeah. I think- wasn't there a thing where you can, like, set off a self-destruct and it destroys your skirt and then you don't have to have an upskirt? <laughs> it's not a- it's not a solution. It's- it's- it's not. Uh, near Automata. Uh, we- we can forget. I wonder if the near remake did anything better than its original. Probably not. Like, didn't they also have, like, a woman in a nightgown as, like, a main character? And like a very like nightgown is maybe uh, a little generous, more like negligee. 
Oh, oops, I forgot I was doing a thing. Yeah, yeah, you don't like Yoko Taro or his works? Yeah. I, I don't really know about him, really, so... I'll take your word on that, but I, I don't really have an opinion there. Okay, let's save some of our... Let's save some of our wonderful t photos that we've taken this session. Uh, let's see. I kind of like this one. It's kind of, even though, even though it has this kind of weird distortion on her face. That 90 points floating woman. I like this one even, because it's like weird and creepy. Look at that one too, whoops. The Bound Man. Uh, see this, the distortion on this is good. Oh, what? Wait. Let me allow it again. I thought it permanently allowed that word. Oh, maybe because it was a different tense, verb tense. Oh, she's also intersex character. And one of the achievements on Steam is to also upskirt her. Ah, oh, to see, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. It's like frickin'... It's like uh, that SNL character Pat all over again. Oh, but we gotta know. We gotta know what what we gotta know what's what's there. No, you don't. Who has to know? Okay, I think we got a good buffer. We got a good set here. Uh. Must save to record the changes. Yeah. Wait, did it? Oh, wait, how do I save it? Oh. Okay. Gosh, I gotta find the photos again. This one. I kind of like this one too, even though I can't really tell what it's what it's supposed to be. It almost looks like it, The Scream by Edvard Munch's. On this one, I'll move this one. Okay, so then they're in the buffer, and now I put them here? No. No. This game feels like Pokemon Snap, but only ghosts. <laughs> yeah. I okay, let's save. Oh, we get to choose. Oh, I got. We get to choose our binding. Uh, I like this one. Oh, which is pretty picture for our our deadly our our ghosts who were murdered in horrific ways. We're saving. I think it, it's taking a while because it has to make a new thing. Okay, so now we have one oh, on the paper. Nice. But now I got to pick up my photos again. What? Oh, no, wait. Oh, wait, this one is a higher score photo. Yeah, I'll take this one. Okay, now we are one, and we've got the buffer. We can't... No, but there's nothing in it. Oh. Oh, I can actually go to... Oh, okay. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Now, save to album one. Yes. Jeez. I was close. Yeah, I was close. I just saved an empty album uh, to start. Yeah, I was very close to that photo. I guess it just saved the score, which is cool. Yeah, this is a very high score. Blinded. Okay, cool. 
So I saved it already. We're saved. Oh, we can get film back? Oh. Uh, okay, we got a little film refill, I guess. I didn't know I could just get four, like, number 14 refilled. All right. I like the ambiance. There's there's me doing that word pronunciation again. I like the ambience of this room. So I guess this is a good place to end it. Even though Miku's looking down. Why can't she just like... Why can't she just be a little more cheery, Miku? <laughs> oh god, that's like the worst thing. Let's not, let's not do... Let's not be like, why can't you just smile? Smile for us. No, I'm not going to be that guy. Okay. Uh, well, thank y'all for joining me. Uh, as always. <laughs> no, no. Don't bring in the Joker to this, Amako. I thought we got, I thought we were done with him. Yeah, Smile Leak, your brother's probably dead. Oh, no, I hope he's not. I guess we'll find out. Eventually. But yeah, thank y'all for joining me. It's always, it's always a joy to have y'all here. Um. I don't want to promise anything for Saturday, but. I probably am not going to be doing anything else. We'll see. Keep an eye on my socials and I'll post if I'm doing a Saturday stream. But if not, uh, I'll be back on Monday for more of this. For more Project Zero Undub. So until next time, I'll be seeing you. Oops, that was the wrong mute. <laughs>